guys and welcome back to my channel today I am going to be showing you a day of eating and exercising for metabolic flexibility metabolic flexibility is the ability to switch between burning fat and carbs for energy seamlessly this means that if you don't eat for several hours your energy won't crash because your body will be able to tap into your stored fat and on the flip side, this means that your body is able to optimize the use of carbs for energy in certain situations, such as before a high intensity workout. Most people nowadays are not metabolically flexible because we eat high carb diets, we eat carbs at every meal, we snack on carbs, we're just eating them constantly. And because we are eating them all the time, pretty much from the moment we wake up until we go to bed. This means we never fully allow our body's stored carbs to deplete, so then our body has to switch to burning fat instead. And when we don't allow our carb stores to deplete and the use of fat, then we lose this ability to some degree. But the good news is there are some things we can do to improve our metabolic flexibility. And when we become more metabolically flexible, this generally coincides with better health, increased energy, weight loss, muscle gain, and increased athletic performance. Now, the way I have been measuring my metabolic flexibility and I guess seeing if I am in a fat burning or a carb burning state is using this little device here. This is the Lumen Metabolism Tracker. And what it does, well, I'll show you fully in a second, but you breathe into it and it measures the level of CO2 that's in your breath. And this tells it whether you're burning fat or carbs. And this tool and the app that go along with it can really help you to reach your health and fitness goals. And I'm going to show you how in this video today. So I'm just about to do my morning reading. Basically what you do is you follow the prompts on the app. They're going to tell you to breathe out and then breathe in through the device. And then they're gonna give you your reading. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. Sometimes you only have to do one reading and sometimes you have to do two, so it's asking me to do another one. And now let's see what I got. I am in fat burning mode. So ideally in the mornings, you want to be at a one or a two burning fat. And while we'll talk about why you might want to be in a carb burning mode later in this video, but yeah, so pretty happy with that. Anyways, I'm gonna to talk to you a bit later in this video about how you can use the Lumen around your meals and around your workouts to make sure you are fueling properly and to improve metabolic flexibility. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit.
bed to take my pre-meal reading. And this is gonna give me a baseline so that when I measure again after eating, I can see how the meal impacted my metabolism. Now the Lumen app will give you recommendations every day for how many macros you should consume based on the activity you're gonna be doing. So right now I'm just gonna be at home working and a fat-based meal and burning fat is gonna be ideal because I want more consistent energy. But later today, I plan on doing a HIIT workout. I'm going to do some sprints on the rowing machine at my gym. And it can be beneficial to fill up your carb stores, also known as your glycogen stores, before a high intensity workout like that. But we will talk about that later. Right now, I'm just gonna do my pre-meal reading and we'll see where I'm at. <laughs> burning mostly fat. It's been just about two hours since I had that meal, so I'm just about to do another measurement and see how that meal impacted me. My guess is I'm still gonna be in a fat burning state, but yeah, if I'm not, I'm gonna be a little surprised. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I'm actually surprised. It says I'm burning both carbs and fat. So yeah, that was a pretty low carb meal, but I have been kind of, I guess, just brushing around my house. I just had to carry something really heavy up the stairs. So maybe that's done it. Yeah, okay, well, there we go. That avocado had a few carbs in it, obviously, but other than that, it could just mean that my body is producing more glucose to fuel me where it's needed and nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> so I just did my pre-workout reading and it still says I am burning both fat and carbs. Down here you can see some of the recommendations that Lumen will give. So it says there's no need to fuel up, but you can eat one carb serving for some extra energy if you like. Why is fueling up optimal? And it just explains it a little bit. So it's really insightful depending on when you take your measurement and what you're trying to do. Now, I will say that I haven't eaten a lot today, so I might actually have a little something before my workout. I'm thinking some blueberries and yeah, maybe just some blueberries and probably <laughs> take these earrings off before I go to the gym. Now, ideally what's gonna happen is my glycogen stores are gonna be full when I get to the gym, I'm gonna do my workout and burn through those stores. And then when I test again after my workout, I should be back into fat burning mode. Okay, I got back from my workout a little bit ago. Oh my God, it is so hot out and I got so sweaty and then I left the gym and it was hot out and I've just been like sticky and sweaty. <sighs> now I have the AC on in my house, so starting to cool down, not complaining at all. I love the heat, but just if I look a little sticky, that's why. So I just did my after workout measurement. So when you take a measurement after you work out, you want it to be 30 minutes after the exercise. And as anticipated, I have shifted back into fat burn mode, which is perfect. I scored a two out of five. And like I said before, that just means that my body is able to use the carbs when it needs to, and then switch back to burning fat when it needs to, which is fantastic. But I will say that I am pretty hungry now, and I might have a really early dinner, like 4.30, <laughs> because yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So I was planning on making an orange chicken that I saw on the Keto Connect website. I will put the link to the recipe down below if you guys wanna make the same, but yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So I have some diced chicken breast. I'm going to coat it in this coconut flour that is also just mixed with some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to make the sauce using some juice from half an orange and then orange zest, orange zest, garlic and ginger. And yeah, just gonna top with some spring onions and some sesame seeds. 
What can I help you with? Oh, you saw a fly. Okay, bye. Now look, I definitely did not nail the sauce. It came out very dry. I don't know, I think just the coconut flour kind of absorbed it all when I put it on top. But I added some sesame oil and we're good to go. Now, if you guys want to use Lumen to improve your metabolic flexibility, I honestly cannot recommend it enough. The app has been a lot more useful than I thought it would be, especially for fueling my workouts. The tips and recommendations in the app have also been really insightful. If you guys do want to check it out, click the link in the description box down below. And I have a code for $40 off. It's Kate40, but it's only going to work for the first 100 people to use it. So make sure to head over there quickly if you want to get the discount. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on how to find your perfect fasting window. You can check it out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my keto and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can find them just below. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.